Hi, let's talk about the worst breakfast in the world, okay? If you're going to eat breakfast and break your fast, then you want to choose the best quality nutrients for your brain and your body that you can possibly get your hands on. What you definitely don't want to do is eat junk that's going to inflame your body, raise your blood sugar, raise your insulin level, and get your day off to a terrible start. So I'm going to tell you about the worst breakfast in the world. But first, please take one little second and hit the subscribe button and click the bell so every time I get a bright idea, you get a notification, okay? I uh, have been on hiatus for a few days. We were in London having a little couple's vacation, Nisha and I, and I'm back now and I'm ready to get fired up and make a bunch of videos. So I want you guys to leave me a comment and tell me what you'd like to hear a video about. Okay, now, what is the worst breakfast in the world? So a lot of people come to me as a patient and they say, you know, I, I've got to do better. And so I've, I've been eating a sweet cake and a soft drink. That's what I usually grab for breakfast because I'm in a hurry. And so I just grab the first thing and it's usually a Coke and a honey bun or a Pepsi and a moon pie or whatever, right? A candy bar. So you would think that that's the worst breakfast in the world, but it's not. Just wait till I tell you what is and you're gonna be surprised. What you'd like to do when you break your fast is to break it with good quality fats and good protein and very, very little in the way of uh, carbohydrates and definitely no sugars and no starches. What you don't want to do is raise your insulin level so that you risk putting fat around your middle and putting fat in your liver and worst of all, putting fat in your pancreas. What you wanna do is you wanna give your body the building materials and the energy source that it needs to run efficiently and to become even more healthy. So good quality fats, some good protein, and if you're going to have any kind of a carbohydrate, make sure that it's a very high density nutrition vegetable or berry or sometimes fruit seldomly, but you, you cannot just eat starches and sugars for breakfast. So some people say, well, what do you, I usually have pancakes and syrup and you know eggs for breakfast, well, that's is that is that better or worse than just grabbing a candy bar and a Coke? Maybe a little better because of the fat and protein you got in the egg, but you basically cancel all the benefits from the pancake and syrup because all that sugar and all the wheat, all the grain in that is gonna inflame your system, spike your blood sugar, spike your insulin level, and your day's off to a terrible start. So a lot of people who come to me saying, hey, I, have, I was having that candy bar and that soft drink for breakfast, and I thought, well, I'm going to do better. So I've started now eating a good uh, organic whole grain breakfast cereal with skim milk. But the problem is, doctor, that I haven't lost any weight doing that and my blood sugars are still just as high doing that and I don't understand why that is. Here's why that is, because that is the worst breakfast in the world, okay? If you grab a candy bar and a soft drink, you know that's crap. You know that that's junk. You know that's not good for you. You're in a hurry and you basically just don't care that morning and you break your fast with basically slow poisons that are going to inflame your body, make you fatter, and push you towards becoming a diabetic. The reason that cereal and skim milk is the worst breakfast in the world is because they claim to be healthy. There are commercials on television and ads in the magazines every day about Special K or this whole weight this or, or, or you know, Wheaties, the breakfast of champions. They're all grain-based crap, okay? They spike your blood sugar, they spike your insulin, their glycemic index is terrible. And yeah, they have, you know, they have vitamins and minerals. And so I tell people, okay, what if I took some rat poop and sprinkled some vitamins and minerals on there? Would that make that a health food? Would then, should you eat that every morning? Well, duh. No, of course not. It's rat poop. Don't eat that. The same goes for all those well-advertised big food, big corporation made cereal, breakfast cereals. They're crap, okay? You can sprinkle some vitamins and minerals, which are normally uh, not the right kind of vitamins and minerals, you don't even absorb them half the time. You can sprinkle that on anything, okay? You can squirt that in any bottle of whatever, and then you can say, oh, fortified with nine essential vitamins. Yeah, no, 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 it's still crap, okay? So the skim milk, they've taken all of the fat, which is really the only good thing in a dairy product, they've removed it all. And so all you're getting is the sugar and the inflammatory proteins in the, in the milk. That's all you're getting. And so if you thought that you're, 
you're going to do better and you're starting to eat a, a, a breakfast cereal with skim milk, you might as well have the candy bar and the Coke because they're no better. They just pretend to be better. Okay. Once you get that concept, it's really hard to trick you. It's hard for the corporations and the commercials and the advertisements to trick you. Once you understand just because something says organic or says fortified or says whole grain, that does not make it good for you. And so a candy bar and a soft drink, yeah, that's crap. But also that breakfast cereal and skim milk, also crap. Please don't break your fast with something like that that's just going to inflame your body and push you towards becoming a diabetic, okay? Now, if you like this little video, please share it on your social media so I can help more people not make the same mistake. And if you have any comments or any questions about what should I break my fast with, please leave me a comment below. I answer every one of them, and I love getting them. It helps me spread the word, okay? So I'll see you next time.